Hey ladies and gents, welcome to the Talking Music YouTube channel where producers, musicians and artists alike come to learn how to get a professional sound that will compete on a commercial level. My name is Kukuletu, I'm the owner of TalkingMusic.com and today I'll show you how to use the Abbey Rhodes TG Mastering Chain to finalize a mix, just to add some final touches to it before you can send it for mastering. Now, the reason I do this process is because I don't want to rely on the mastering engineer to find those frequency problems in the overall mix. I want to make sure that I give the mastering engineer a much cleaner sound for them to take the song to the next level with minor issues. So as you can see, my CPU is starting to get overloaded because I'm also recording the screen and all that stuff uses a lot of CPU. So what I'll do is to switch to a new project. I'll export this project and then import it in a different project so that you don't get any crashes or any, any audio artifacts and stuff like that. So what I'll do is to add the Abbey Rose TG Mastering Chain on this channel and get on with the tutorial. If you haven't subscribed, then you're missing out on a lot of content. So make sure that you click the red button below this video to subscribe and click the notification bell so that YouTube can notify you every time I upload a new video. If you want more tutorials about mixing, make sure that you check out talkingmusic.com forward slash books. That's where you'll find more tutorials about mixing. Okay, let's get started then. This is the song I'm, work I'm currently working on. So what I'll do is to also add a limiter to make sure that we don't clip the signal. And then let's get started then. We'll start with the EQ. Now what I want to fix is just some minor hash frequencies. It's not going to be a huge difference, just some minor adjustment. Check it out.
Now, since this song was mixed in dual mono, I'll switch the EQ to dual mono as well. And then let's check it. Just check out the before and after. This is without the EQ. So all the harsh frequencies are well taken care of. And now what I want to do is to add some tape saturation to the entire mix. Okay, that will definitely improve the song. And then the next part, I want to add some minor compression. And now what I can hear is that the entire song can do with a little uh, boost in the upper frequencies. So what I'll do is to pull the pull tech uh, EQ plugin and then boost some high frequencies. Just a little boost will, will do the job. And that's it. And that's the results I want for this song before I can send it for mastering. So let's check out the song with and without everything. So this is without all the processing. And here is with.
and that's it obviously i'll do all this processing in the mix because now i don't want to overload the cpu and get artifacts and stuff like that that's why i'm doing it on the on this track just on this single track and that's how i would improve the song to make sure that it sounds good before i send it for mastering so i trust that you found the tutorial helpful if you found value in this tutorial make sure that you smash the like button click subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell so that you can join the notification squad if you're not part of the notification squad then you're missing out on a lot of great content if you have any questions make sure to leave your comment below and i'll definitely get back to you for more tutorials that go deeper into mixing make sure that you check out chokingmusic.com forward slash books and that's where you'll find great tutorials about mixing and that's it for today take good care we'll talk again soon cheers